We've got a job to do. Clark. Adler. Bell. Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. CIA and the DOD have tapped their inside sources for anything to stand. So far, there are no leads on the person. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. We'll have to start somewhere. We're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Mercy. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference her with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Good. Bell, this is where you come in. Someone high up wanted you with us in Nam. I didn't think I needed you then, but I did. Now I need you again. Head to the evidence board. Retrace our steps through the day. Anything that can give us a lead on persons. All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. And word had it, Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow, Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack. In a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we have a job to do. So far, bro. Fracture job. That one shot went sideways. Bell. Bell. It's time to wake up. It's great time. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins, a little oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe here. Hey, Butcher! How's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it.
Hey, Sim, you know reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I want it all up here. Mel, you're with Sims. You usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding the vital asset. Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax, we got fast flyers providing combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Headsets on. All birds check in when ready. Badger 9 or 1, good to go. Badger 9 or 2, clear to go. Badger 9 or 3, rotors up. All birds, go, go, go. Crank up and pull pitch. All birds are in the air. You all sit and come to me. Oh man, Adler. Why do I get the feeling you about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. The news isn't bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is going to have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And that's good because... A source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town. A Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Yeah, roger that. Moment to establish an LP. RPG! Up to, climb up! 